It's Johnny from WP Johnny, and right now I'm going to show you guys how to quickly edit your admin styles. So this is the WP admin. This is a WordPress back end. Okay, it's not the front end. Maybe you want to change certain styling. You want the spacing to be different. Maybe this black bar, you want it to be thicker, or you want the fonts to be different. Uh, whatever you want to change, you can do it. I typically don't mess with the back end UI, user interface. The only place that I mess with is the editor styles. So that's when, like for example, I'm creating a new post and I'll tell you what I don't like. So maybe uh, in some cases, maybe you want a different font to show or maybe like if you're like me, I want this uh, to be wider. So let's go through here and I'm just gonna show you real quick. So first we look through here and let's find the, the CSS that we have to edit for this. And for this one, it's the WP block. And maybe I want, uh, a max width of 1000 pixels okay so you see how it just jumped up right away increased it all right uh, maybe I want background color of um, red okay uh, maybe I want less margin bottom maybe I you see so may maybe I don't want uh, all the text to be like so pushed out so much line height and vertical spacing so whatever it may be, whatever the case may be, you can edit that. So there's two easy ways to do it, okay? Uh, obviously, these changes I made are just temporary. It's in the developer tools. It's not permanent. So to make it permanent, um, what we can do is we're going to install uh, two plugins. Uh, actually, just one plugin. The easiest way is to install a plugin. You can use the... You can use Add Admin CSS by Scott Riley or Admin CSS and You by Aaron. I'm sure the name is pronounced differently, I just Americanized it. So I installed one by Scott Riley, go to Appearance, go to Admin CSS, and from here, you could just paste your styles in. I'm going to just take this out so you guys can see. Okay, and I hit Save, and let's go ahead and just refresh this, and let's see if it took. Okay, so I can see the red took, but the max width did not, right? So. Sometimes WordPress, uh, there's a there's a default theme styling or default WordPress styling, whatever. You can add important. This will override it. Let's refresh this again. And hooray, it took. All right, that's one way. It's very simple. Uh, you also, if you have so many styles, you can just create a style sheet and then you know put the address to your style sheet here instead of pasting it all into here. And again, this only loads on your back end. It doesn't load on the front end. It doesn't slow your front end site down at all. All right. Now, if you don't want to add a plugin, you want to uh, manually do this. Okay. So you can have a plugin snippet. So here's my plugin snippet. I'm going to just copy it right now. And then we'll go to the back end and put it in your theme functions.php. Okay. So normally we go there. And at the very bottom, we paste it in. Because this is a development site, I, I'm not going to do it through FTP or any of that. I'm just going to go uh, straight to my back end. Okay, I have the file pulled up here, and I'm just going to paste it in. Now, you got to pay attention to two things. One is this address needs to be customized. You see, this is the address to your theme. So my theme is called Generate Press. Your theme might be called something else. Second is the other path. You have to create a CSS directory in there if there isn't one, and also create a file here if there isn't one. So I've already created it. It's right here. Okay. And let's just, there you go. And then let's fire this up again and see if it took. And cool. Works great. So, uh, you know, that's an easy way to do it and to style your editor or, or to style your WP admin backend. Uh, one last note. If at any point, uh, if at any point these styles break or they don't look as you expected, then what you should do is uh, go check the um, go check the 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 WordPress default styling because sometimes their their class names change over time. Maybe WP block might later become uh, editor block or, or something else. So maybe th that might be why. So if you see that change, just go check it and then go and correct your styles. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time.